Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. It is Sat Chat time. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. It is September. Wow. People say that, oh, summer's officially over because it's a Labor Day weekend. No, summer is not officially over. So fall doesn't even begin until like September 21st. And I'm just like holding on to every last scrap of summer that I can get. Um, the air is definitely different. I woke up this morning and uh, it was nice and toasty in the house. So I didn't think much of it. Then I was getting ready to walk the dog. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to check, see how warm it is out and it was 54 degrees so it's like oh I need layers it is definitely it's definitely changed it was in the 40s last night so it's starting to get cooler but we have a nice long stretch of sunny weather for the next week here in Maine so I'm very excited if you're vacationing to Maine this week this is a time to this is a time to be here because it's not well we didn't get a hot summer anyway but it's not muggy it's not um uncomfortable it's just like nice and crisp it's the it's the crisp the crisp days. I do think we're supposed to get a couple days in the 80s, so I'm very excited for that. Um, bring the bring the kayak or paddleboard out for one last hurrah. Hasn't had many hurrahs. My kayaks have had no hurrahs this summer. My paddleboard's only had one hurrah. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a, a very hurrahless summer. But um, but now we are we are into September, and I always feel like September is. Uh, kind of like the beginning of the year, you know, it, I think it's because, you know, when you're a kid, every fall you go to school and, um, and I've been doing YouTube for the last 13 years and plus I have, I have kids. So every year I'm sending them off to school and with YouTube, it's like everything kicks up in the fall because it's the fourth quarter. And that means the advertisers are trying to get ready for Christmas and other holidays. And they're trying to um, spend up their ad budget before the end of the year and everything. So just everything gets fast in the fall. And then, of course, personally, you've got holidays. And um, all my three kids were born in the fall. So I got three birthdays. My sister's birthday is in the fall. Um, it sounds like, oh, what's nine months earlier? <laughs> it's the dead of Maine winter. <laughs> Nothing to do. That's why everyone's birthday's in the fall. Uh, and uh, yeah, then you get the holidays and then it's then you're in the drudgery of winter in, uh, in January and February. So yeah, I live for the summer. I live for the summer and early fall when it's warm. Um, but hey, I, uh, I seem to keep myself pretty busy the rest of the year anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty much... Uh, it, this starts the nose to the grindstone season that goes from about... Um, well, the beginning of September to the end of May. Those are, that's kind of like the, uh, that's the sprint. That's a sprint. And then you can kind of pull back a little bit during the summer and then you start sprinting again. Um, not saying that's the healthiest way to be. I don't know. Speaking of Labor Day though, that is this weekend and I am putting my shop on sale 40% off any class. Coupon code, code uh, I think it's Labor Day 40. I will put it in the video description just to be safe, but I've got it in my, oh my word. Um, labor 40, labor 40, spelt the American way, L-A-B-O-R, no weird U's. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You just won't get it, you know, I'll say spell it however you want, but no, if you don't spell it that way, then you won't get the discount, but I'll put it in the video description. Uh, so if you've been hanging on, waiting for a sale to buy a class, um, do it this weekend. The sale goes through Labor Day, which is Monday. Uh, I got some new glasses. I had lost a screw in my progressives and... I could not get it back in. That's a thing. Like if you if you have a hard time seeing up close and your glasses need to be repaired and you're trying to put the tiny little screw in the tiny little hole, you can't see what you're doing because you can't you're not wearing your glasses because you tried to repair your glasses. And I had my husband trying to uh, trying to put it together I'm like uh I'm like I've been meaning to order um, a pair of just reading glasses, just like for close-up work, because I really don't like on progressives how you have to look through, like you got to look down through the bottom of the lens if you want to see things close up. And then, you know, you look straight ahead if you're just trying to like see things far away, which oh, I guess for overall, like general use, it's fine. Uh, so that we don't have to change glasses when you're driving and all that stuff. But, um, but when you're like, if you're, if you're sitting and you're painting for an hour, it would be, it's much nicer to have one lens you can see through the entire lens and have everything in focus. Um, so you don't have to be looking down. I don't like to look down that much. I'd rather be able to look straight out. Um, so I am like, so when those glasses were 
uh, I couldn't get the screw back in there. Um, I'm like, that's it. I really need to order those backup glasses. So I went to Zenny. I got two pairs. I, there's a, there's a section called Barbie core. And so I got, I got the same frame twice. I've got this for distance. So I'll put these on because then I can actually see. And I sprung for the anti-reflective coating because it's supposed to like get rid of glare. And I thought, well, that'd be great for filming if I want to film like, my glasses on like my live stream. Sometimes I do because I'm looking down and looking up, but you can still see my lights reflected in these glasses. But I think these are really cute. My husband thinks they're granny, but uh, I don't care. I like them and I can see. Uh, I like this much better than having, I mean, I'll probably still wear progressives if I'm driving or just going about my day, going shopping or whatnot, so I don't have to carry two pairs, but, um, but I like that. I like that a lot. And they are really comfortable and they're really, everything's crisp. I love that everything is crisp everywhere. Um, I just need to change my glasses. So, you know, there's no perfect solution. Um, I can see distance well enough to drive without my glasses on. I can just throw on regular cheap sunglasses if it's like if I'm going to the beach or whatnot. But, um, but I like that if I want to like, uh, if I don't want to, if I want to have absolutely great vision, if I'm like going to the movies and I want perfect vision, then I can bring those, bring those distance glasses. And, um, yeah, they're great for watching TV. They're just good for all around distance stuff. And then I've got the reading glasses for seeing stuff close up. And these look a little more granny because these are the pink ones. I thought they were going to be way cuter because they were in the Barbie core section. But yeah, these definitely do look like, uh, oh, <laughs> these do look very granny. Like, um, would you like to check out that book, dear? You know, <laughs> they're very librarian and not in a sexy way, but I can see close up. So I'm happy with that. So I actually might just leave these down here on my painting table so I can, you know, just, have a more comfortable working situation. It's funny how your eyes will get used to your environment and your brain, because it's your brain that puts that, that makes up most of what you see, that you can get used to not wearing your glasses and still put stuff together. Because I'm like, I was hor I was like, I'm gonna be horrified when I get my new prescription and I start looking at the artwork I've made, everything's gonna look awful. Your brain puts everything together. It's so funny how like if something happened and end of times and we couldn't get glasses anymore, our brains would kick in and start like filling in the gaps, which I think is really really interesting. Um, oh, other big news that I wanted to mention. Um, there are, there have been a couple spots opened up in my French retreat. Uh, so what happens is that um, when you do these retreats, you promote them and mine sold out in three and a half days. And then the company waits a while because when people book, they don't pay right away, but they, they put in their information, but um, they don't pay until the retreat becomes guaranteed. The retreat becomes guaranteed when it's sold out. I hope I'm allowed to say this, but well, whatever. Um, uh, so then they contact all the people that have booked, I'm like, um, just so you know, we're going to be running your card in 48 hours, make sure that all of you, everything's still good to go, you haven't had buyer's remorse, or, um, you know, you, everything is hunky-dory, so they warn everybody, so it's not like, you know, bam, you get this charge for your retreat, and, you know, you didn't have the money to cover it or whatever. Um, so a couple people backed out at that, at that point, and that means that there are some spots open, and if you would like to grab one of those, if you missed out the first time, I'll put a link in the video description so you can go check it out. If you have any questions before you book, you can, I'll put the contact information from for Uptrek in there, and that way you can ask them anything that you want to ask. And the good news is um, the people that backed out had picked up the lesser expensive rooms. So um, if you were like, if you're kind of on the edge, like, ah, oh, the only room that was left was like the really expensive one, and you were kind of like, uh, um, the uh, the cheaper rooms opened up. I don't want to say cheap because it is, you know, a trip to Europe, it's expensive. Um, I really don't have much control over that, but um, but the lesser expensive of the rooms are, there's a couple of them available if you would like to go check it out and uh, join me next May in the south of France for some painting. We're, uh, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna build a sketchbook where um, people have been asking for supply lists and um, honestly, I'm gonna have everyone bring their, bring your favorite travel watercolor kit, bring your favorite brushes. We are gonna make a 100% uh, cotton watercolor paper sketchbook and um, I'll have refill tubes of paint just for like, um, if anybody runs out of anything, watercolor last goes so far. Um, that way everyone will have exactly what they want and they're used to, but then um, we're also gonna make a high quality sketchbook to fill and have some extra paper on hand. So it shouldn't be too, I, I don't want it to be like, cause it's hard, you know, hard to travel with stuff and it's expensive to like check extra bags and stuff. So I just want it to be easy and make sure every, we have enough for what we want to do. But, um, but it's going to be exciting. And then once the, uh, then pretty soon there'll be a Facebook group for all the attendees to get to know each other in. So we won't all be strangers when we get there and it'll be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, 
it's it's exciting. It's exciting, and I've never been to Europe, so I'm extra excited for that. What else? Oh, this is up in Petite Club now. This is a gouache painting. Uh, we went to Scudic Harbor, Scudic Point. Scudic Point um, in Acadia National Park on Sunday, Jason and I, the kids had all go, well, the girls were actually, um, they had one last hurrah before college started, they had gone with a couple friends to Ohio for a music festival, and we were going to be picking them up at the airport at like 6 o'clock or so, and so it's a beautiful day, um, and we wanted to get out to Acadia National Park, because we have a yearly park pass, and it was going to be up at the end of the month, and so we wanted to get out there before it, um, before it ran out, and it was perfect. The, the traffic wasn't bad, which was unreal for August in Maine in Bar Harbor. Um, well, we went to Winter Harbor because that's where Scooter Point is, and the weather was gorgeous. It was warm. Usually, I'm I'm cold anytime I go to the coast, but usually we go like after tourist season because it's just it's just so packed, um, and it's kind of like takes away from the natural beauty of the place because it's just so packed. But it was gorgeous. It wasn't too busy. I did a little sketch on location. Um, it took a bunch of photos, Jason took a bunch of photos as well, and then uh, I used one of the photos for that tutorial. So the time lapse is up on my YouTube channel, but if you want the real time version, it's in Critique Club. If you want to check that out, I'll have a link to that in the video description as well. And, oh, something that's coming up, it's not out yet, but it's free. Um, I'll be doing, I'll be using the Derwent drawing pencils and we'll be doing like a monochrome on tone paper of these garlic um, for, uh, for the Derwent Michaels class next month. I think it's on the 9th. I looked really quickly before I started to film to see if it was up on the Michaels website yet, but it wasn't. But I think it's, I'm thinking it's either the 9th, but it could be the 12th. It could be, I don't know. Um, the content was actually due today, but I, I put it all in last week, but it hasn't shown up on the website yet. So so that will be up soon if you want to. I'll, I'll definitely mention it again when it's up to be enrolled in, but it's one of the free ones, which is really good because um, cause free is good, right? Free is good <laughs> as we're, as we're barreling into the holiday season, free is good. Um, oh, let me look at my list. I've got all kinds of notes. I got all kinds of notes. I had kind of a weird this week. I've felt a little restless and, um, adrift and, you know, it's probably cause the kids are off to, off to school. So the kids got home. Maisie has, I had already moved in, um, to her apartment and Lila moved in. She actually, she came home after the trip and then she had to drive to campus that on Sunday night because classes started Monday morning. Um, so I don't know. I was just, I, I think, I think I've felt last couple of weeks, I've felt a little bit squirrely because, um, it's just, everything's up in the air until everybody gets like landed in their dorms and they start their classes and everything, you know, it's just, you kind of, it's, everything's just a little bit stressy until everybody's all, you know, where they need to be and what they, and doing what they need to do. Um, but I was still feeling kind of adrift this week, and I think it was like Monday. I was, I just couldn't get out of my own way. Maybe it was Tuesday, I can't remember. But I, so I just ended up taking a notebook, going out back, bringing the dog with me, letting her run around, and I just kind of like mapped out all the things I wanted to get done and needed to get done, assigned times to it, just kind of organized my life on paper because it just, the notes app was not working. I have so many notes in my phone that that was overwhelming. It's almost like that was just a jumble of stress anytime I picked up my phone and looked in my little notes app. It was just, uh, overwhelming and I was like I need to do something different because this is uh, I need to this is just not this is just not working but um, I'm starting to feel like I'm getting back in my groove a little bit and, and that's good that's good I think um, last night my friend Karen uh, had a great idea she's like let's go urban sketch in downtown Bangor and I'm like that's an awesome idea so we met at Patty Murphy's which is this little pub um, right in the middle of downtown and we ordered drinks and dinner, and so when the drinks came, I started sketching. Where's my little, my little notebook? Um, so I'm like, I'm gonna sketch my drink before I drink it, and so uh, that makes you work fast. So I did this quick little little sketch here of my Mai Tai, and then the dinner came. They had so many vegan options at Patty Murphy's. I was really excited. Um, then dinner came, we ate, and then we just, I looked towards this, like the kind of the, the cross, the, the intersection in the middle of downtown, and she looked at another building. This is what I drew. Um, it's not great, but I'm glad I did it. And you know, you can't just start off good. You have to, you have to build up to, you know, to do it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be worth doing or worth learning. So I used the Derwent line and wash set for that, and um, I like it. I like it. I'm going to be reviewing that. I've got a few reviews that I'm working on. 
uh, lots of lots of exciting stuff coming down the pike. I've actually recorded, I have quite a few reviews that are already recorded just waiting to to post um, and I've got videos scheduled into mid-October so I'm doing, I'm getting, I like to get a bunch of stuff done ahead of time uh, especially where I'm working on a course. I want to have content coming out that I don't have to really, um, that I don't have to make that's pre-recorded so I can really focus on finishing up the 30 Days to Better Watercolor course and also um, when you launch it you have a lot of people enrolling and a lot of questions and I want to be able to spend my time focusing on that and not think oh I also have to get a video and I also have to do this and also have to do that so uh, so that's good so I guess I'm feeling a little bit more calm but I was just I started the week just very um, very on edge and not uh, just I don't know not loving it so um, I think I've gotten myself back a little bit um, into a, a calmer flow and trying not to let my mind go to the stressy uh, the stressy areas because I kind of have this this almost it's almost like a little walnut of anxiety in the pit of my stomach and I don't know exactly what it is I have a feeling like there's all these little things that just bug you and that's they kind of like nestle into that pit of anxiety and uh, I'm trying just to not go there just to um, redirect when I find myself like ruminating on something that's been uh, that's been bugging me or something that's not finished something that's coming kind of up in the air um, stuff like that just really I, I don't like to have things up in the air I like to I like to if I have something that's bothering me I like to deal with it and move on but that doesn't seem to help my anxiety something else just kind of bubbles up and takes its place so I don't know I don't know I probably need to <laughs> I don't know seek professional help but <clears throat> that's probably not gonna happen uh, not that you shouldn't if you need it you totally should but uh, yeah. I uh, I don't go looking for trouble. I don't want to pull on that thread. Um, what else do we have going on? Oh, Maisie has her first gig tonight. I'm so excited. She's going to be playing at this place called Red Rabbit Bazaar. And um, it's like a vintage shop. But they have all these different little like events, like artsy events. Like they'll have like pop-up record sales and they'll like people coming and selling record albums. They'll have <coughs> bands and they'll have like gallery showings. It's just kind of this funky little little place downtown. And so we're going to go check that out and support her and listen to her play. I don't know if she's going to be solo because she was um, she's a singer-songwriter and she plays um, uh, guitar and keyboard. And I'm not sure if she's got friends that are going to perform with her or if she's just going to do it on her own. I know she did some practicing with some friends, so it'll be really exciting to see how it all goes. And I just love it. I love it. You know, this is a time. This is a time when you can explore all those different things and see what sticks and see what's going to work for you. So... I'm very proud of her for doing that, and uh, I think that's awesome. I'm totally looking forward to checking it out. Plus, it is um, it's a first Friday, which means um, like in a, probably maybe even in your downtown, your local city's downtown, like the first Friday of every month, they usually have like an arts night where like artists will have their studios open and different cafes will have art on display, and there's usually a lot of music. Sometimes there's free concerts. There's <laughs> just a lot of stuff going on downtown to uh, kind of promote downtown business and I love it. I haven't been in a while. I did a first Friday at a, at a like a, a home decor shop with my art one year. It was a lot of fun. And so, uh, so yeah, I, I look forward to just kind of roaming around downtown as well, maybe getting a bite to eat and uh, not letting my film and makeup go to waste, although my hair has seen better days. It's kind of a hot mess today, but um, bandana to the rescue. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's uh, it's fine. It's it's it'll do, um, but yeah, looking forward to that. I have a lot going on today. I have a, zoo, a couple Zoom calls and um, a couple things I want to finish filming up, and yeah, just it's a busy day. It's a busy day. Um, what have we done this week? Um, oh, I posted a, a tutorial yesterday on the. Um, the hairdo that I wore last week in Sat Chat, the, uh, I call it the sketchbook floozy do now because it's kind of, uh, I don't know, I, because I was talking about the sketchbooks and doing the Rosie the Riveter, uh, and that is up, it's quick, it takes like five minutes to do it, and I think the video is maybe like seven minutes long, so I'm going slow and I'm explaining stuff, but that's up. What else did I, I posted the time lapse for that, um, or that might have been last week, oh, what did I, did I post about, um, I don't know, I have scheduled so much stuff out that I'm not sure what I've already posted and what is yet to come. <sighs> I feel like my brain is just, uh, it's kind of like, um, 
it's kind of like jumping on a moving train sometimes I feel uh, like in September it's like so much is going on and you just kind of got to come up to speed so it's like you're, you're trying to you're trying to chase down a train and jump into a boxcar that's what it feels like um, I don't know is that is your life like that probably we're probably it's probably probably all of us are are having similar situations I think when um, when September rolls around and our, our schedules start to get back to normal because I feel like summer is just all up in the air um, I think that people do a lot of traveling, people who have kids and grandkids from school and are doing a lot of childcare and a lot of uh, vacationing and spending time with family. And then when you hit September and the schools are back in session, it's like everything kind of falls back into sync and everything gets a little bit calmer. There's less traffic on the roads, there's less people in the stores, there's less, uh, there's less, of. I guess there's probably, you know, because there's less kids around, there's less people out there killing time, entertaining their kids, less kids just kind of roaming around. Um, Boy, do I find kids stressful? <laughs> I guess I probably do. Um, but yeah, it does seem like things calm down and then you can focus. I feel like I do focus a little bit better in the fall. And I have no idea when I'm gonna get the kids for their birthdays. I am just completely, um, I feel like I just, you know, I just got through the summer and, and got them off to school and that's like, I don't know, I have no clue what to get any of them. Uh, and then it's Christmas right afterwards. So it's like, bam, bam, bam. Um, I, I I don't know I don't do, I like I'm trying to think do I have any other topics that I want to uh, that I wanted to mention I just have the stressy topic that I don't think I want to talk about because um, I don't want to get all wound up <laughs> and because that's a that's a drag um, oh my gosh I feel like I should spin this around so you can see my table I have like all these uh, color cube cards scattered all over just kind of because for the the watercolor class so if you took the 30 days to better painting which we which you could do in gouache oils or acrylics and I did 10 lessons of each um the, it was very much like you're learning to paint a la prima and quick and use this opaque medium but for the watercolor class I want to do more like we take a reference photo but then we just use it as we don't follow them like right to the letter. We might use it as an inspiration, as a spark, and then we go off from there to kind of help people get a little bit more intuitive with their painting, get a little bit more loose, get a little bit more um, look for the areas of structure that we pull into our painting, but then be able to go off and do what you want to do with it. So it's like you want to paint, say you want to paint some, oh I don't know, blue roses or whatever, or and you want to or you and you want to paint three of them, but you've got a reference photo that's got you know, 10 of them or, you know, in there a different color and, you know, just kind of take taking bits and pieces and making your own thing. Um, also heavily focused on color theory and color mixing, because, but not in a hard way, in a way that makes it, I think, easy to understand. Um, oh, that's the other thing I posted. I posted a, a uh, comparison of the old Pretty Excellent watercolors to the new Pretty Excellent watercolors. Oh, I could show you a sneak peek. All right, don't tell anybody, but this just came in from the company that makes Pretty Excellent. They're releasing a new set next month. So I won't tell you this though, because if you are thinking, if you're under, are thinking about taking that class and you want to hold out, I mean, you don't, I mean, honestly, you don't need that many colors for this class. You probably don't need to buy anything for this class if you want to take it and you have watercolors already. So, you know, seriously, you don't need to buy anything. I'm sure you already have stuff to do, but they have released a new tin, two different colors. It's kind of like the, the Artistro and Simi Art tins but it's got 52 colors in there and there's a little covering over there. I haven't used them yet, there, um, but there's pigment information and there is watercolor paper and there is a swatch card and um, there's some pastel shades. I think it's got the basic 36 colors plus a bunch of pastel shades plus a gold and silver, um, but I'm gonna be, I can't wait to work on the review for that. It's gonna be really, really fun, I think. Um, so that's coming out, 52 colors. I don't know what the price point on that is. The Pretty Excellent has been 20 bucks. The set of 36 has been 20 bucks since I bought mine in 2017. And that's a steal, still. So I don't know what this one's gonna, what this one's gonna cost, but I will know when I, when the review comes out. The view, review won't come out until, uh, well, I'm gonna have to shuffle some stuff around because it's, um, I think it's supposed to, the, they'll be available in mid-September and I will hold off. They asked me to hold off my review until, um, until that, until then. And there, I mean, it's not sponsored. They, they sent me the, the paints, but they didn't tell me I need to, they didn't ask me to do a pause review or anything. They just uh, said, just, could you hold off your video until they come out just so that, um, so that people can get them if they want them. Their stuff sells out so quick though. I hope they, I hope they send enough. I hope it, well, first of all, I hope they're good. I hope they are the same quality. Um, but uh, there's a notification that I have a Zoom coming up in half an hour. Uh, I hope that they are same quality. 
I love that they have the pigment information, and I'm curious about the new colors, so that's going to be something fun. See, redirecting. I'm redirecting. I didn't talk about the stressy thing. I'm redirecting and talking about the happy things. Um, do I need more watercolors? No. But I love reviewing. I, I am curious, and I love reviewing the new products, and um, oh, people can make, you know, at least they have a source on the internet for a bunch of these these palettes. They can decide uh, by watching the reviews whether they might be for them or not. They can look at other people's reviews, collate all the information, and then make the decision for themselves whether it's for them or not. And I get to try new stuff, which which is very fun. I get very, uh, uh, I don't even say I get bored. I don't get bored. I don't think I'd be bored if somebody said, Lindsay, you cannot have another new art supply. You have to use what you have for the rest of your life. I probably have enough and I probably wouldn't get bored because I love like discovering new things. I know if I told my mother I was bored as a kid, she'd be like, go upstairs and clean your closet. Or, uh, because, or it's like, you don't want me to find you something to do, but she would send me up to my room to clean. And I would always, like, she'd come back a couple hours later and I'd be sitting in my closet playing with blocks or whatever because I would have found things I totally forgot I had. And that was, you know, way back in the day before we had so much stuff as, like, an average person or an average child of so much. This is before then. So I would find, I would find something to play with because obviously playing's better than cleaning to a kid. And, uh, it's the same thing with the art supplies. Um... Sometimes it, I do think it is um, it is a relief just to say, no, I'm not getting anything new right now. I'm just going to play with what I have. But seriously, dude, if a company says, I got these new watercolors, a bigger set of what you already love, you want something, I'm like, come on, I'm human. <laughs> I'm a weak. The mind is strong. What is it? Or they say the something, but the flesh is weak. The What is it? The mind is strong, but the flesh is weak. I don't know. What is that saying? The... Shoot, I can't, you have to, let me know in the comments below, what is that saying? The something is strong, but the flesh is weak. I can't remember, I don't even remember what it's from. It's probably from the Bible or something, but I'm sure I heard it on some, like, Mel Brooks movie. I don't know, <laughs> something that a heathen like me would watch. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, seriously, I'm looking around. I posted a pretty excellent comparison. Actually, I did have a couple different videos this week. Why can't I remember? I've got too much going on. I've got... I've got, that's it, that's the other thing, that's re the reason I had to bring my notebook outside, because I had so much swirling around, it's like I need to get it on paper, because it's taking up too much of my bandwidth to, like, remember everything, it's, it's using up all my working memory, I need to, I need to download that onto my paper, so I can free up my working memory, because right now I'm just feeling a little crazy, I have this urge to do pottery again, and I think probably it's because, like, last year, it was, like, September when I got my pottery wheel, and so I've got all those fall pottery vibes going, but um, but I don't know, I don't really have a practical purpose to, for making more pottery. I was really bummed that my glazes were all messed up last year that kind of made me not want to do anymore, so I don't know. It's, it's I think it's that, that, like, that, oh, I made a mistake, now I feel so ashamed. Even though it wasn't my mistake, I still, like, have that kind of, like, that, it's the anxiety walnut in my stomach. I don't know. But that's all I have for today. Uh, don't forget the Labor Day sale, 40% off, coupon code in the video description. Thank you for watching! Until next time, happy crafting! Bye!